super excited for this call. We took a couple months off, but we've been doing this call for about a year. The whole point of this call is that our business is 80% women. Not that I'm complaining. I love being at conference, but we want to make sure that guys know this is a viable, real deal business. So tonight, we actually have the Power of Five event, which is five guys in the business who are supporting their wives. Uh, some of them actually working the business as well. But what we're trying to find out here is, did we always feel like this was a real deal, a real business, or did we have some skeptic skepticism in, in the first place? So um, since Jeff is not here yet, we'll start with uh, Rob Meeker. Mike, you want to go ahead and take it away? Sure. Rob, thank you for being with us. Rob is a NMD team handler. Rob, your wife, Jules, is a national marketing director with Juice Plus and has been in the business for over 10 years. Were you a believer when she first signed on, or did you think that this was more of a, a hobby where she could make a few extra hundred bucks per month on the side, and did you know or imagine that this could turn into a plan A in the future? Uh, okay. Okay. So multi-level question there. Thank you. Um, so again, I'm, I'm Rob Meeker. Um, and to answer your first question there, um, so Jules and I, we, we were brought into the business by Lori Agner, who's another um, national marketing director. And we were brought in, um, Jules and, and Lori were teaching Pilates together. Um, we were looking for an excuse to say no. And uh, we were on a road trip to Minnesota. I was like, yeah, give me, let's grab one of those CDs from Lori, uh, that you know, cute, cute lady that teaches Pilates with you. Let's get one of those CDs. On our way to Minnesota, I'm, I, have my, I have my degree in geology. Um, I'm a, a scientist uh, by my brain and everything else so um so i was like yeah let's pick this thing apart let's let's come up with a really solid reason to say no to lori on monday morning um and uh, i was shocked because it was a research based business uh, it wasn't like testimonial based like most other mlms are um and so when we jumped in um i wasn't i wasn't you know, I was busy pursuing my career, um, and uh, and so I wasn't like excited to be part of the business. But we were we were all in. Uh, once once I realized that it was that there was actually science behind uh, behind all this, um, I was like, heck yeah, like let let's let's do this thing. And and I and I totally um, supported her, the idea of her pursuing it. Um, I had no idea. Um, that you know 10 years or nine and a half years nine years later um that she would be able to well we didn't have kids at that point um i had no idea that she would be able to retire me from um jobs that i enjoyed doing but if i if i could choose to hang out with my wife and my boys and and uh and do like contract work um versus you know working for a university or a college and just, you know, trading dollars for hours. I had, I had no idea that nine years later, she'd be able to, to allow me to, to be the, the type of father that I, that I really want to be um, where I can, you know, I'm, I'm in my boys school, um, you know, at least a day a week. Um, I'm, I'm like the weird dad who like is on every field trip and um, yeah. So I, I had no idea, but uh, from, from the get go, I was all in. That's awesome. Um, so, so it sounds like you, you like the product, obviously, because of the research, but was there a specific point where you looked at the business differently? And if so, why? Yeah, no, I mean, that, yeah, that was, that was when, when Jules made national marketing director and uh, I never, I, I no longer had to have a job uh, that I was, that I was choosing to do because of the health insurance. Um, you know, with the, with the national marketing director uh, promotion and the Juice Plus company, you get like, I mean, it's it's as good or better than any um, benefits package that I've ever seen. Um, and that that's when that's when it was like, holy cow, um, here we are. And I was, yeah. So I guess I would 
I think that answers your question. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Uh, good stuff. Thanks, Rob. Uh, I think Jeff Olson, we have you on the line. I am here, guys. Can you hear me all right? Awesome. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. We really appreciate you participating. we got a big crowd tonight. I'm really excited about this. Um, thank you guys all for being here. Um, you guys, most of you guys probably know who Jeff Olson is. Um, I'll just tell you that he is uh, part of a 100 Club NMD team and one of the best speakers and people in our business. Um, Jeff, I just have a couple questions for you. We'll make this pretty quick. Um, number one, uh, you know, I've heard you speak a lot of times, and I always hear you talk about how skeptical you were at first when Tony started a business. And, you know, they say docs and jocks, and of course you're a jock, are the toughest customers. So from an athlete's perspective, why, why were you so skeptical, skeptical at first, and how long did it take you to kind of, you know, come around? Well, thanks, Craig. I, I appreciate you guys allowing me to, to share my story. I've got about 45, 50 people upstairs, so if you hear some background noise, we, we host a, a potluck every month, and tonight was uh, our, our, um, our, our team potluck. But, you know, I was introduced to this idea of plant powders, you know, 17 years ago, and I, I think the business, uh, any conversation about the business, any conversation at all about the business, has to be built on uh, the power uh, of the products, the goods and services that any company offers. That's, that's kind of where it starts. And so I, I got Juice Plus straight away. Um, as the saying goes, you know, athletes are ruthlessly practical and they will do what works. And for whatever reason, I understood right away that plant powders were not a multivitamin. Plant powders were not a traditional supplement. Plant powders were a food thing. Uh, it was around the time Apple had launched their Think Different campaign, and I'm like, dude, this is a this is a health food tech company, man. I get it. Plant powders. That's novel. That's new. That's fresh. Here we are, 17 years later. It's still novel, new, and fresh because we've pioneered the category. So my my entire uh, business curiosity was built on a competitive advantage uh, that we have something that no one else has. I mean, athletes like a competitive advantage, and it's like you know, when, when the business was kind of in the back of my mind, uh, you know, the, the, the question was, well, what if you've been given the, you know, the exclusive distribution rights 10 years ago to the iPhone, right? Uh, that would have been a business thing. Uh, and, and here we are, you know, 17 years later when plant-based back in the day <laughs> was like kind of like John the Baptist out in the wilderness. And plant-based is, you know, it's, it's kind of in the, in the mass kind of culture, kind of understanding now. So there's a tailwind. So that, that is kind of a foundation for the way I entered the business. Um, I got the product right away. And if you, there's any guys on the call who aren't bulletproof on plant powders and why, you know, they are here to stay, built to last, and they're going to basically replace the multivitamin. And, you know, the, the future that I see is plant powders are going to replace the multivitamin as standard of care in medicine. They're going to replace the OBGYN saying, here, take this horse bill and, and versus here, take these plant powders. And it is on for the next 10, 25, 10, 20 years uh, for the plant powder uh, category. I talk about categories. So I know that tonight's not a conversation about the product per se, but if there's any guys that don't, aren't bullet like on a 10 uh, about plant powders and, and produce concentrates, uh, then you need to kind of go back to first base and, and marinate in that conversation to understand what you really have is right underneath your nose or at least what your spouse is bringing to you. Because I will tell you uh, that we've got a, a real product in the real world that's making a real difference one person at a time and we're killing it, we're crushing it. We're gonna do $800 million in little ADB plant powders, you gotta be kidding me. So that is context. Uh, I entered the business uh, through my wife. As probably most guys on the call, you know, enter the business. I, 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 I stiffed our network marketing. I had a lot of resistance and, and network marketing has gained a very bad reputation for a very real reason. And I'll kind of unpackage that. Uh, and I'll tell you how we're different and, and, and you, how you can kind of go out and name and claim categorically how we are different. And I think that's important because as we've distinguished ourselves in the marketplace of ideas, you know, the multivitamin is the only supplement that people take daily in the traditional supplement world. And I believe plant powders now are a food-based approach. I call it a hygienic health food. 
And you want to talk about cash flow. You want to talk about recurring revenue. You want to talk about, you know, it's one thing to get a customer in business. It is a completely different thing to retain a customer in business. And we have one of the highest you know, customer retention rates in the industry because people will get on these plant powders because they make sense. And then if you service that intellectual need to know who, what, how, when, where, why, they'll say, oh, plant powders, I get it, makes sense, I don't need enough. And they'll put it in the same category as brushing their teeth. So we became customers. My wife shortly thereafter said, I'm gonna do this business. I was a corporate guy. You know, I was transport for testosterone in my 20s and 30s. You know, I worked, you know, as a professional athlete, worked on Wall Street, did tech, corporate guy, working for the man you know, being a provider, doing my job. And, and I, you know, got to a place in my life where the money, you know, just lost, uh, you know, I didn't have fulfillment. I had financial success, but I didn't have fulfillment. And success and fulfillment, success and fulfillment are kind of a dance. And so uh, my wife launched a business and I probably, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, you go girl, you go girl. And I was supportive, but I never imagined, I could not see how I could be a provider for my family and my three daughters and their college and their weddings, just in little itty bitty plant powders. Just didn't make sense to me. So um, for any guys on the call tonight uh, that have spouses in the business, the one thing I did right was support my spouse. That's the one thing I did well, as I supported my wife. And I was like, man, this is awesome. Go girl. Cause I believed in it as a customer. I was a happy customer. I just didn't understand how you scale this thing to five, six, multiple five, six figure income. I understood network marketing as an abstraction, right? And I understood why it's garnered a bad rap. But when she started paying the mortgage, I'm like, cool, tell me more, right? So, you know, if you want to get those that you love, you know, interested in this as a business, put a comma in your monthly paycheck and they'll start paying attention. It's like, show me the money, honey. Like, really? Uh, so she started paying the bills. Uh, you know, mortgage payment and the car payment. And in the back of my mind, I was a corporate guy working for the man and I didn't know what I didn't know. I was intellectually ignorant, but I had this romantic idea of being an entrepreneur and, and having my own thing or, or being, you know, having that life. I started hanging out with this company and seeing all these leaders and I'm like, I want to do that. I want to, I want, you know, I want to work 20 hours a week and make six feet. Like who wouldn't want that? Right. So but I had some things to learn. Um, I was humbled, I, was, I stumbled, I bumbled, I fumbled, I mumbled, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just didn't know what I didn't know. And I've come over the last 15 years uh, to really uh, regard this company, what they're up to, how they do it, how they measure three times, cut once. Uh, they stay in their lane, they focus on what they're doing, they try the best you know, for the world in plant powders, produce concentrates, vertical aeroponics. And so what I will tell you is how we're different than traditional network marketing you want to write this one down and spend some time making this distinction is I call us a network franchise and it is category categorically different than network marketing. I'll tell you why uh, network marketing is kind of a buyer's club. It's get other people, sign up, join the club, buy the stuff, sign up, join the club, buy the stuff and you're compensated to bring people on. You actually get paid a commission to get people into the business. Um, it's less about the product and it's more about recruiting. So anytime you see a network marketing company, uh, chances are the independent contractors are getting compensated for signing people up. That's number one. We are not that. $50, I make nothing when someone gets in this business. I help them to grow an actual real business, which is a customer base. So this is a network franchise. And what does a franchise do? A franchise goes through an intermediary called a franchise or a franchisee and works with the end customer and they got a brand name. So in, in the franchise sense, we're like that. We have a systems approach. We've got a global brand and we, they were, and the company works with intermediaries. What we've got, gotten rid of is the brick and mortar, you know, hundred thousand dollar, you know, royalty fee. So network franchise, the other thing about network, you know, that's where the best business is. The most successful people I know have a network, you know, they can pick up the phone and call who they need. And so, Number one, we are consumer driven. 85% of our $800 million a year is customers only. Number two, um, we, we have no high front end loads, no high buy-in fees, no spend a grand to join the club. It's $50. Uh, that is very distinctly different than other traditional network marketing companies. And number three, I do not know, and there's about five or six that I think were very different, but number three is, I do not know of another network marketing company or direct sales company 
or any company that works with independent contractors, you know, 1099 Schedule C independence that offers a full healthcare benefits package. You know, my wife and I have had a full healthcare benefits package for 10 years. I don't know another one. If you add up those three, I mean, I would submit we are a unicorn, man. Like there isn't a company that I found that is like that. So from a pure business perspective, as an independent contractor, we bring some really valuable things to the table on the business side, complement that with our competitive advantage on the product side. And, you know, I'm here to stay built to last. You know, I'm going to retire into this. I've already retired into this business. You know, I'm putting three kids through college. I'm going to pay for three weddings with this. You know, it's the real deal. And so if you're a guy and you're skeptical, that's good. You should be skeptical. But if you ain't coming to an events, if you ain't plugging in, if you ain't going to boot camps, if you ain't coming to a national conference, you are ignorant and you do not know what you not, do not know. And I would just invite you to plug in, marinate, hang out, have beers, ask the questions, and get educated so then you can make an educated decision. Man, I love this, Jeff. I am, I am so excited to hear you talk tonight. Um, you know, we had planned for five minutes for everybody. You went 10, which I love. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm no, done. No. I don't want you to apologize. So many <laughs> just the word preach, you know, so take a guy who didn't believe at first to be so passionate about it the way you are now, I think says everything. So thank you for being on here. I'll let you get back to your group. Uh, really appreciate your time tonight, Jeff. Hey, my pleasure, man. We, we are just getting started as a company. So the next 20 years, I, I'm, I'm more excited about that than the last 20. So thanks everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks all awesome. most exciting years. Right, man. Cheers guys. See ya. Uh, um, so next up, uh, we have Kevin Farrar. Kevin is uh, part of a QNMD team. His wife, Kelly Murphy Farrar, I'm sure most of you guys know, she has incredible energy, big smile everywhere she goes, just an awesome person. If you mention her name, everybody loves her. So Kevin, thank you for being here tonight. We really appreciate you being on. No, oh, thanks for having me, Craig. I and really by appreciate way, Great haircut. Yes, absolutely. Going for the same look. <laughs> Looking smooth. So a couple of questions for you. So you're married to Kelly, obviously, who's a QNMD pushing to NMD, which we're really excited about. Um, and, you know, honestly, I was thinking about this, and I can't imagine as positive and energetic as she is that there was ever a time where you didn't support her um, or even maybe wondered that this couldn't be a viable business, you know. So um, I'm wondering what previous exposure maybe you had to network marketing, if any, and if you were always supportive of this journey or um, you know, did you have your doubts? Um, so interestingly enough, I did have, thinking about it, I did have some exposure to network marketing. I had seen family members try Amway way back in the day. I had seen um, other family members do Shackley way back in the day. So when Jeff mentioned you know, the negative reputation of typical MLMs, I certainly saw that firsthand, you know, going back to my childhood. Um, when Kelly decided to bring Juice Plus into our family, I can't say that I was hardcore skeptical about the business or the products uh, to begin with. What I can say is that I was, or we were struggling financially at the time. Kelly had left her corporate career to raise our daughters, which is a decision we will never look back and regret. Um, at the time, she had started her own health and wellness coaching practice. She had been doing that. It's like we're frozen here. Kevin, can you hear me? I, I got you, Craig. Um, I think it might be on uh, on his side. Yeah, I think it might be. So, um, Kevin, can you hear us? All right, looks like we might have a connection issue here. Um, while we're waiting here, why don't we, uh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and introduce um, Garrett, and we'll we'll move on with him. When Kevin's back, we'll uh, we'll continue what we were doing. Sounds like a plan. Garrett, uh, thank you for coming on. Garrett is part of a QNMD team in Boulder, Colorado. I'm actually from Denver. Uh, I'm in Winter Park right now, though. So you and Mel and your three boys, you live in Boulder, home to some of the healthiest, most fit people on the planet. 
and you both work full time and you're raising three boys. So we already already know how great this Juice Plus business is and the model is for families like yours. Was there ever a time you didn't feel that way? Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be totally honest tonight. And I appreciate Jeff in saying that he was fully supportive from day one. Um, somewhat embarrassingly, I can say I was not supportive. Um, I have a, you know, I have lived in corporate world, whatever, have, although the flyer said I'm a former real estate developer, unfortunately, I still am a real estate developer. That's this plan of, of shifting Juice Plus and, and taking that, doing something different. But I was not supportive. Um, I, and it wasn't the product, it was the business and it's, uh, it's kind of painful to look back on now. And I will say it's only, you know, recent that I, uh, um, you know, kind of shifted that, but, but from the beginning it was, it was, it was almost undermining, uh, and was more friction in our relationship. And so that was 10 years ago. Um, We'll talk a bit about what it's done with Mel, but the one thing I'd say about Juice Plus is I'm thankful for the change it's made in my life, even though I haven't, you know, been actively involved in it. And the shift that I've made to being fully supportive, uh, and and not only fully supportive but actively involved with Mel, um, and it has our our marriage, our relationship with our children, our family, you know, where we're going, moving to Tahoe in a month. I attribute a ton of that to this, to the business. I get the product um, and it makes perfect sense. And I'll tell you, I guess getting to this place, like, even like last night we went and had an event and there were 12 doctors there and I walked out of my house and I was so pumped. I was like, bring the doctors on. And it was just like it 10 years ago, I would have like, I would have told Mel that like, I would have hidden the keys basically, right? I mean, I would have gone that bad. So I'm, I'm just, I, I'm psyched about what it's done for us as a family, but um, it, it's, it's only recent. And I, again, it's kind of the Chinese proverb, the best time to plant a tree was yesterday. I wish we plant, I planted that tree 10 years ago, but damn it, I planted it, you know, now and, and watching it grow. And I think, I don't want to take credit for it because Mel's absolutely killing it. And, but I think a lot of her recent success um, is because of me finally getting on board, being more open-minded um, and, and not just tolerating, but being fully supportive in everything. Um, and I, I think the last thing I'll say on that is, you know, so much of call it corporate world or what we do in other places, we strive to be important. And I've always strived to be important. And knowing people, building big buildings, doing that kind of thing. And it's only recently someone said, you know, how about try being useful? And, and I see this business, it is a, it's, an absolute, it's a service business, right? We're trying to be useful and share something that is very powerful to help people's health and wealth. And it has been so liberating to kind of make that shift and focus on useful. And uh, I'm psyched. And this isn't Tony Robbins Afterglow. This is, this is Juice Plus, uh, the business, the product, and what it's done for our family. That's awesome. Uh, smart man for, for jumping on board. So you actually mentioned um, some of the, the positive changes that Mel uh, experienced. Uh, assuming you are a believer in this business and in this mission now, uh, how much of a role did, did seeing those positive changes play in making you a believer? Um, you know, I would say it was everything because, you know, it's great to hear everybody else in their story, but to be involved in your story and kind of have your own and, and your process through the company and your growth through the company. I mean, I look at where, you know, three boys under three, you know, 10 years sick, Mel was the one that reached out and said, there's got to be a different way. Right. So she started us down this journey, which, you know, most of us happens. I think it's very rare that the husband or, or uh, you know, a man brings into their family. But seeing her go from that um, mother, um, you know, where we're in survival mode to where the growth that she is now, the confidence, speaking in front of people, the belief in what she's doing. And frankly, um, the voice that she has now. 
and the voice that she not only has with her friends, um, with people she meets, but the voice that she has in our relationship. And I, it's been a, a huge transformation to us of confidence, you know, self-worth. I mean, all those things that I think she would share as well. Uh, but seeing that from my side, um, cause you know, life's difficult. We go through a lot of challenges, but us having a, a, a more equal partnership. And I attribute honestly, like 95% of that to juice plus. So, cause there, there's been very few other things that we've kind of had, you know, influence our lives as much as that. So it's, it's pretty easy to connect the dots. So. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing and, and hopping on. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, man, I love Garrett. Thank you so much. I love that. We are a personal growth course, cleverly disguised as a business. So that, that, that means a lot to us. Um, I believe we have Kevin Farrar back on the line. We had some technical difficulties. Kevin, are you there? Kev? Where's hey, Kevin? There. there you go. Can you hear me now? Ah, yes, we can. Thanks for coming back on. We had a little technical difficulties there, but yeah, we can see I don't it. know what happened. My internet's been pretty stable, but it happened to shut down right at the mm -hmm. wrong time. Uh, so you were you were talking uh, about um, whether or not you were supportive in the beginning. Yeah, so definitely, you know, just to go back, Kelly had started her own health and wellness business. We were presented Juice Plus at a time that we were looking for a solution. And Kelly made a decision to introduce Juice Plus to our family. And I was supportive and compliant from taking the product perspective. But where my skepticism came in was really in, you know, not understanding the business model and not being able to see how we were going to financially afford Juice Plus. Our youngest daughter wasn't old enough to be in the health study yet. We were buying Juice Plus for my mom who was terminally ill and my father. Um, and so the, if we weren't, paying our bills at the end of the month and we had this additional expense i wasn't sure how we were going to cover it and you know they say you know trust in your spouse and kelly always had my faith belief and trust and i put that behind her even though i was you know skeptical watching from the sidelines not really believing what she could do uh the first month she had an event and ended up getting a, a rather large bonus for, I think, being one of the top um, earners in terms of customer acquisition her first month in the business. And so that was certainly enough to open my eyes. And, you know, for really for the next four to six months, maybe first year, I saw Kelly going out into the public. You know, a lot of times in the evening, she was coming home late at night. She was having fun. And at that point, I started to look at my day and how much fun I was not having in corporate America at the time. I was working for a company that was laying off people. Um, I was seeing coworkers leave, uh, voluntary, involuntary. Uh, there was a lot of pressure and stress. And, you know, as a kind of a stress relief, I started going to events with Kelly, really enjoying the people that I was meeting. And I started to get more knowledge about the product in the business and as kelly's business grew it just made it become easier to support her um along the journey so hopefully i've answered your question craig which i think no is no that was great and and i do have one more thing and it sounds like you already started to touch on how you really liked kelly's crowd she was working with and hanging out with so you know throughout the growth of her business i know you've had a great job you've been very successful we've had a couple of conversations about how you're not maybe sure about your future and maybe you're transitioning to something else so i'm curious how the growth of kelly's business and her success and your support of her um have affected your personal journey sure you know, in the work world you know i think you told me at one point um you would rather hang out with her friends yeah, I mean, that's, that's very, very true. I mean, I, like you, I have made tremendous friends. You and Andy, I would consider friends. You know, I knew if I showed up in Colorado and looked you guys up, we'd have, go out and have a great time. And we have people that we've met over the 13 years all over the world 
that I would not be able to call friends. Um, but to kind of take us back to the working world, um, I'm once again working for a biopharma company. It's very um, unstable right now. There's a lot of uncertainty in my future, whether I'm going to have a job, if I'm going to have a job, is it going to be relocated to somewhere else? Um, you know, have I, are there any growth opportunities for me? Um, I don't enjoy spending time with the people that I work with in the same way that I enjoy spending time with the people in the Juice Plus company. Um, you know, I don't go hang out with my colleagues and, and have drinks and go out to dinners and, and share personal stories about my life. But that happens almost at every Juice Plus event where I meet somebody new. Um, so I really do see a future for myself in continuing to support Kelly. And, you know, like Rob Meeker said, it's about opportunities. And, you know, someday as Kelly journeys into NMD and we have the financial and security of the benefits, you know, I'm going to have choices that I don't have today because I'm working in corporate America. So, you know, there when we started, I looked at our decision, you know, as a long-term um, decision that would have a positive impact on our future. And over the 13 years of my corporate career, it's been very unstable. What I've seen Kelly's career with the in 13 years with the Juice Plus company is one of stability, fun, friendship, um, community, communion. Um, we just really enjoy spending time with fabulous people. So awesome. That was fantastic. And Kevin, thank you for sharing. Uh, really welcome. If anybody on the call hasn't gone to conference, go to conference. It's a it's game changer. A game changer for sure. Thank you, Kevin. So last but not least, in fact, usually we say we save the best for last. Tim Agner, NMD handler of Lori Agner, who is very quickly approaching 39 Club NMD, uh, which is amazing. She's our fearless leader here in, in Steamboat, and we love her a lot. So, uh, Tim, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you being here. Absolutely. Love it. Um, so, a couple questions, and then we'll finish this up. We may not have time for questions. Um, we've got a lot of amazing information. We have almost 100 people on this call. I'm, I'm just so grateful for you guys all to be here. Um, Tim. Your, your wife, Lori, is a 24, she's a 24 club, but she's, again, she's very close to 39 club. Um, and I know that it took her 12 years to get to national marketing director. We talked about this earlier today on my call with her. Uh, and I know the momentum wasn't always there that she has right now. So my question is, would you put yourself in the category of, you know, supportive but skeptical when she first started? Uh, and if so, were you more skeptical even after seeing some of that early success kind of go away or wane, you know, did that affect how you felt about the business? Um, well, yeah, thanks Craig for uh, having all of us. And I think this is a great call because um, anyone who's had a partner doing this business has been going, you know, has gone through these stages of the juice plus business and what that feels like and looks like in your life. And I was kind of like Garrett, you know, I was a little bit skeptical at first. Um, and I think that's the nature of just any MLM business. Uh, you know, with every great success, there's uh, some failures as well. And it's, it's a roller coaster ride. So, um, you know, that being said, I was never skeptical of the product. Um, you know, the research um, back, backing that it has, you know, spoke for itself. Um, but sure, I, I was definitely skeptical in the beginning, uh, just because there's a, it was a roller coaster ride and, you know, with every success, there might be, you know, a drop off here and there. Um, but now, uh, as I am, you know, I refer to myself as an NMD handler, um, looking back on that 12 years, you know, what does that really mean to be supportive? What does that really mean, um, to be, you know, supportive in the role as a partner? Um, and you, you know, and it, and it, it, I guess the first question is, you know, where, where does your partner want to take their business? You know, do they want to take it to NMD? Do they want to just offset their costs? Do they just want to 
you know, put a comma in their paycheck. Uh, and that's kind of, I think, where it all starts uh, in the partnership going because you have to have that goal of wh- where you want to take it. Okay, so where, you know, and, and once you establish that goal, you know, how, how are we going to get there? And the one thing with this business that I have learned in the last probably two years when Lori <clears throat> did her NMD push was there's a blueprint. There's a blueprint out there that works. And, uh, you know, just utilizing your uplines to figure out what that blueprint is for whatever goal you want to achieve in this business, whether it's NMD and getting, you know, medical benefits for your family and, and, uh, or if it's just paying for your product or if it's just, you know, whatever that is, how can you be supportive in that role as a partner? Uh, and the main thing is, you know, Jeff mentioned it is just knowing what juice plus is getting the, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid, knowing what the, you know, all the benefits that it can provide with the children's health study and, um, everything else around it. <clears throat> and then just talking about it, learning how to talk about it to, uh, your circle of influence and your friends. And, you know, for me, the biggest supportive thing I think I did was just fed her business. You know, I'd talk about it to my friends and, and, uh, circle of influence and they'd show interest. Uh oh, we got a little steamboat technical difficulties here. Tim, are you there? I've got you, Craig. So it is, it is Tim, I think. Um, All right. So we'll we'll wait for him to come back on. You know, while we're doing that, um, what I didn't do at the beginning was introduce us. Um, a lot of you guys know who I am. I'm Craig Kennedy. Uh, I am also a future. NMD handler. We have big goals this year, QNMD by uh, July 1st and NMD at the fall conference in Tampa. And we're really excited. So um, I am actually a sales coordinator in the business, but we are building a national marketing director team. I've been eating just juice plus for 10 years. I'm a huge, huge fan. It's changed the picture of my health. Been in the business for about two years. Uh, and, you know, for a guy that used to sell cars and hated it, I, I am a proud owner of a of a direct sales business that I absolutely love. This is the best job I've ever had. And I used to do this call with Brian Oliver, uh, Lisa Barrett Oliver, a lot of you guys may know. Um, he stepped away and I brought in one of our teammates, Michael Murphy, who you've heard tonight. Michael is also a paraplegic like me. He's a badass mono skier because I taught him how to ski, of course. Um, but uh, so we're going to be doing this call every month. Uh, I just got a text from Tim that he's back on. So um, we will go ahead and do that, and then uh, um, Mike will tell his quick story, and then we'll close out the call. Tim, thanks. You're back. Yeah. uh, Sorry about that. Not sure what happened. Um, So um, you were on kind of a roll there. That was was really good stuff. Um, Let me skip to the next question because I'll be honest with you. I still have a little bit of issue with this next question. Um, I still – it still goes through my head every time we need to spend money on something. So running your own business, as you know, can be expensive, right? And after 12 years, you know, through the whole process of growing a successful business, I'm wondering how often you felt like, okay, how much is that going to cost me? Versus maybe now where you're feeling like, okay, how much do I need to spend to get us to that next level? Um, Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, that's a great question, Craig, because uh, I definitely was in that boat in the beginning, like, wait a minute, there's you just went to conference and spent how much and you go into another conference and you're going to spend how much, uh, and your paychecks, what? Um, but that being said, and again, we have the, the beauty of hindsight looking back on this business, going to conference is the, one of the most important things that you can do with your spouse and giving her, there's her or him the support they need going to conference just fuels the business and getting people to come with you fuels the business. Every time Lori would go to a conference, her paycheck would go up. Um, you know, her energy would go up around the business. You know, it, it's buy-in. Uh, so I, I absolutely fought it for, you know, first few years for sure. Like, wait a minute, what? Um, where are we going with this? But uh, in hindsight, it was, you know, you got to spend money to make money and investing in going to conference and even, um, you know, personal growth seminars, if that's what uh, 
someone's looking for and needs, then, you know, it comes back to you in full. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I encourage, you know, it, it can feel uncomfortable at first, but know that going to conference and bringing people to conference is the biggest way to, uh, boost your pay line and grow your business and stay, stay engaged. Uh, so yeah, I, I was definitely in that boat for a while, but in hindsight, like I said, that, what, that is probably the number one thing I can encourage you to do is is roll with and and with any sales job because this is a sales job it takes time to build your customer base you know i was in real estate for years and i know, knew garrett from those days and it takes time to build a sales base and a customer base i was with cisco foods for five years and it takes time um but getting them to conference and spending money on those things events posting those uh it will come back to you um in full for sure so now yeah i'm on board with uh with uh forking it over i love it man that, that's such that's, that's that's great to hear you know i never thought that i would be proud of saying we are in the we are in a get rich slow business but what that really means is that it does take time a lot of these other mlms they're like you can make this money you can win this car and it's quick and it's quick and you know, I, anything that is worth creating takes time to create. And when you put the time in, you get the best results. So, um, man, this was an awesome call. Thank you guys all for being here. I, I really appreciate it. Um, Michael, uh, I would love for you to come back on and just tell your story real quick. And then we'll talk about our next call and then we'll close this out. So a couple minutes, Mike, you, uh, you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. Good. Um, Again, thank you all for being on. Um, so I'll try to make this quick. 11 years ago, I was uh, in college, I was 21. I fell off a roof uh, and became a paraplegic. Um, after I regained my independence, I got into adaptive sports. I started with hand cycling, and then I got into mono skiing. A couple of years ago, uh, after moving out to Denver with my now wife, Casey, who's on, on here, um, I was looking for sponsors to help fund my ski racing. And uh, I ran into a friend of mine, Craig Kennedy, um, a, and a year after he told me about Juice Plus, he brought it up again when I told him I was looking for sponsors for my adaptive sports. And he told me about the business again. And I had never taken the products, but what I did, I trusted my friend. And I, I bought into his passion, and I signed up right there. Then my wife and I started taking uh, the trio and the capsules, and the shakes every single day. And uh, I instantly, I felt the difference uh, in my energy um, because of the hardware in my back as a paraplegic. I have a lot of back pain. I was taking four to six Advil a day for years and years and years. A couple weeks into it, uh, my back pain was almost completely gone. Um, I was also sleeping through the night. Um, gonna be blunt with you, as a paraplegic, you have bowel and bladder issues, and I was having bladder issues at night. I would have to set an alarm just to wake up and go to the bathroom at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So as a paraplegic and as an, uh, a competitive adaptive athlete, I was not getting a full night's sleep for eight, nine years. All of a sudden, about a month into it, my wife says, you're not getting up in the middle of the night, and I wasn't, and that was huge. Um, but the business side of it, it is now allowing us to do what we want. And right now, I'm actually in Winter Park. I'm at a ski racing camp at a mountain that is closed. Um, I am I'm getting ready to train, and I'm, I am currently training for the Paralympics in four years to make the U.S. national ski team. Um, and Juice Plus is giving me that edge physically, uh, not getting sick, but it's also allowing me to not sit in a – traditional nine to five desk job, which I did with the federal government for two and a half years, I hated it. So this is allowing me to be outside, to be in the mountains, to train, to do what I love to do. Um, and the Juice Plus family, and I, there's been talked about a lot and just the people around it, it's just incredible. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm so glad this has been in my life for about a year and a half now. Um, absolutely obsessed with it. It's changed my quality of life and it's allowing me to live my life. Beautiful. Uh, one of our favorite team members here. So 
Uh, again, thank you guys all for being here. What I'll tell you is that we do this call the second Thursday of every month. Um, we're currently populating our list of uh, who's going to speak on the next calls, but I got a lot of people on here tonight. We had as many as 98 callers tonight, um, which is amazing. And I want you all to know that next month we have the one and only Jeff or Birdie yes. speaking on our men's call. So tell everybody, invite your friends. There's only 100 spots. It's going to be limited. Um, but we are super excited about this call. We're super excited about our future and the growth and the family, like Mike said. You know, my favorite thing about going to conference now is seeing all the family and the friends and hanging out with these amazing people. So yep. um, thank you guys for being here tonight. I hope you all have a beautiful evening. And I uh, hope you will, that we'll see every single one of you next month for Jeff, MF, or Birdie. Uh, yes. Bring in the energy and the passion like he always does. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Great thank call. you all. Everyone, thank, thank you, you Craig. Thanks, Craig. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, thank you. Awesome call. Thank you. Woohoo! Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.